I'm standing in Tel Aviv's tiny streets and tucked right behind me is a treasure trove of art, animation and Jewish history that will guarantee touch your heart. Let's go inside and have a look. The Joseph Bell House is today a museum that conveys the amazing life story of Joseph and Rebecca Bell. And reflected in his wide range of creativity includes movies, animation, paintings, graphics and literature. Hi, I'm Tzlila. And I am Hadassah. And we are the daughters of Rebecca and Joseph Bau. And we would love to welcome you into our museum, the Joseph Bau Museum in Tel Aviv, Israel. Visitors from all over the world, such as this group of students, are always in for a surprise as Tzlila and Hadassah Take them through an emotional ride with stories that one gets to see only in movies. Did you see the movie Schindler List? Yeah. 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 So the wedding there is our parents' wedding. Actually, our parents, they met inside the concentration camp. And our father got dressed as a woman, smuggled himself into the women's camp, and that's how they got married secretly. Now in the movie, they show a canopy, like a chupa. They didn't The art saved his life. He was used as a draftsman and also wrote signs in Gothic letters for the Nazi party. This Gothic letter is here and here. He didn't know then that actually Hitler chose 10 graphic artists, the Nazi party. The they Nazi wanted party. to have a special font. And our father was studying this letter, this font in the university. The professor told them, you don't, I only tell you, if you want, please. If no, you don't have to study. You don't have to study. He was Jewish, our father. All the students didn't want German letters, the fonts, they didn't love it. And always our father said, I don't know why and how I fell in love with these letters. And he studied this day and night. And after that, because this letter, he saved himself and he saved hundreds and hundreds of Jews that he was forging documents for them in the ghetto. After that, on the table of Amun Gate in the concentration camp. You know, even we don't know how many people. But people came to him and said, Joe, bow, make for yourself and run away. We will save, save the others. And he stayed there up to the last day. After Plaschau, Baus transferred to Oskar Schindler's camp, where he stayed till the end of the war. Oskar Schindler came to Israel 17 times. And during the war, he was uh, very successful and he saved 1,200 Jews and he had money. But after the war, he never succeeded in any business that he did. And the survivors, but the survivors who remembered how he saved them, sent him money every month. And actually he lived of the money the people sent him. And every month our father was sending money. And our mom said that sometimes she said, she told him, Lisa, we don't have for ourselves, maybe don't send this month. And he said, I want to eat and I'll send him because he saved me. And, uh, and then he came to Israel. Two days before he came, every time he phoned to our father. Many times they came here and they celebrated. Unbelievable. In our museum, that yeah. was our father's studio. This was studio then. And he came here every time. And even one time he told our father, paint me. And our father said, and drew a portrait of him, and it's the only portrait of Oscar Schindler. 
And then when I saw him the first time, I was five years old, I remember he saw me, he picked me up in his arms, lifted me up, and said, you are my granddaughter and your grandfather because I saved your father. And I remember looking at him and thinking, oh, so I have a grandfather. And I was so proud. And he was a very uh, warm person. A very, uh, we loved him. Loved him very much. In 1950, he immigrated to Israel and was recruited to a secret unit of the intelligence corps. Only after his death, it was revealed in the Knesset that he worked in the Mossad as a graphic artist, who forged documents for Israeli spies. Tzlila and Hadassah were there during this announcement. Joseph never spoke of these activities. Our father's paintings about the Hebrew language were exhibited in the Israeli Knesset. And there were many Knesset members, also Shimon Peres was there. And then someone got up and says, now I'll tell you something the daughters don't know. And he said that our father was the graphic artist of the Mossad. He was responsible for forging all the documents for all the spies. And now we heard that he made all the documents for Eichmann that was brought here from Argentina. And he did for many others. Yeah, many. We always fainted. I need to tell you that actually I worked here in my, in our father's studio. I did it. <laughs> Joseph's unique paintings were exhibited around the world, and in June 2007, his paintings were exhibited at the UN headquarters in New York. When we went with him to the UN building, he was very impressed and he liked it. And in the lobby there was an exhibition. And he looked around and said, I wish my paintings would be here. August 2006, someone calls me up, calls us up, said, hello, can you talk to Joseph Bar? And I said, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. Oh, too bad. We are calling from the UN building. We want to make an exhibition of his paintings. Now we were sure that someone is pulling our leg, like, and really? And there was an exhibition, January 2007, and there were a lot of ambassadors and many important people in the opening, and they told me that we can talk for three minutes. And I said, Dad, your wish has come true. And then, all the people stood up and clapped and it was such an exciting moment. Not many people know this, but the daughters are working tirelessly and are being faced with the possibility of not being able to keep the museum up and running due to overwhelming costs. They desperately need help to relocate the museum or help them stay at the current historic location. This place, oh, this you know what, this is, is hard for me to talk about. This, where we are sitting right now, it used to be our father's studio. He worked here from 1960. After he passed away, we turned it into a museum. It's the only museum in the world that combines graphic, the beginning of all the movie industry in Israel, because he designed all the fonts to all the Israeli movies. He was the first animator in Israel, and he built all the equipment by himself. He built the smallest movie theater in the world, and everything in Europe. 
So it's the only museum like this in the world. And nowadays we are struggling about this place. Uh, we don't know what will be in the near future. We have a lease for another year and then we might have to leave this place, which we don't want. We want this place to stay forever because it's a very important place in Israel and it tells the story of the Jewish world from the Holocaust till Israel and the love to Israel and the Hebrew language. We need people to come and help us keep this place going. We want this place to stay forever. We are not getting young. We have to think about the day after when we won't be able to be here, that it will stay as Joseph Baum Museum for all of us. And also they asked us always to tell the story of the Holocaust, that it won't be forgotten, that God forbid something like this won't repeat itself. In February, 2014, it's going to be the anniversary of our parents' wedding inside the concentration camp. It's going to be 70 years. It's also going to be 20 years since the movie Schindler List came out and was a premiere in Israel. And 40 years since Oscar Schindler passed away. We are going to celebrate those special dates in a very big event because our parents had such a special, beautiful love life and this will be like a good luck for all the new couples. That they won't uh, get uh, divorced after two or three years <laughs> so that they will stay for always very happy. This incredible story is being kept alive by Tzlila and Hadassah with the same humor they learned from their parents. Here is their anthem called Be Happy Now, as this is a message of love that our family want the world to know. Do with us, <laughs> all together. <laughs> Be happy now, do you know how? Yeah.